Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom, and in today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the 2022 format featuring Palkia V-Star going up against Regigigas. So we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. And please remember to like and subscribe so we can reach 100 subscribers before the one year anniversary of this channel. And now with all of that out of the way, let's get into the battle. And here we go, the battle has started with both players flipping over their starting Pokémon. On the Palkia side, we've got Palkia V as the active Pokémon, with a Sobble coming down onto the bench. And on the Regigiga side, we've got Regidrago as the active Pokémon. The Palkia side is going first, playing a level ball as their first item to search the deck for another Sobble. And following up with a Capacious Bucket to search the deck for two basic water energies to add to the hand. Okay, there's the two water energies coming down. Let's see if we're going to be seeing any of these energies coming down into play. Not yet. Okay, another item is being played. Quick Ball. Discarding one of the water energies to go back into the deck. Searching for another basic Pokemon. So let's see if another Sobble is going to be coming down. Okay, no, not a Sobble. It's going to be a Radiant Greninja. Normally Greninja is an evolved Pokemon, but the Radiant version of it counts as a basic. And it's going to go ahead and use its ability, Concealed uh, Cards, I think it's called? Yeah, Concealed Cards, discarding a energy from the hand to then draw two cards from the deck. And that's going to be the turn for the Palkia side. Over to the Regigigas side, their first item is going to be Hisuian Heavy Ball. Searching the prizes for any basic Pokémon to add to their hand, and then swapping it out with the Heavy Ball. But it looks like no basic Pokémon were found, so all six prizes come back down. Which is a good thing, actually, as all the Pokémon are in the deck. Reggie Ice is going to come down to the bench. And the Stadium Stormy Mountain is played, activating its ability to search the deck for any either Dragon Pokemon or Lightning Pokemon to put onto their bench. Okay, the Pokemon chosen is going to be Reggie Alecky. It's going to be the third Reggie Pokemon on their side of the field. And the supporter is going to be Marnie, so both players have to shuffle their hands, put it at the bottom of the deck, and then the Reggie side draws five cards, while the Palkia side only draws four. The Reggie side is looking for one of every Reggie Pokemon in order for Reggie Gigas to activate its ability. And speaking of Reggie Gigas, here it is coming down into play. And the energy attachment is gonna, gonna sorry, energy attachment is gonna be capture energy. Capture energy has the ability to search the deck for any basic Pokemon to put onto the bench. And the one chosen is gonna be Registeel. So that is six, no not six, uh, five out of the six Reggie Pokemon already searched out. And the active Reggie Drago activates Dragon Horde to draw cards until the player has four cards in hand, and that is the turn. On the Palkia side, they activate another Capacious Bucket to get another two water energies into their hand. So it's going to be enough for the Radiant Greninja to activate its ability once again. Okay, the next card played is the Training Cord, getting rid of the opponent's Stormy Mountain, and Training Cord activates getting one of the discarded water energies back in the player's hand. Following up with Quick Ball, discarding a card from the hand. Couldn't quite tell what it was. But now the player can search the deck for any basic Pokémon once again. And the one chosen this time is going to be Manaphy. Manaphy comes with the ability Water Veil. So once it's in play, all Pokémon on its side of the field on the bench can no longer be hit by the opponent's attacks. Okay, there's the Radiant Greninja activating its uh, Concealed Cards ability once again, discarding a Water Energy to draw two cards. The next item is going to be Evolution Incense, searching the deck for any evolved Pokémon to add to their hand. Okay, the one chosen is going to be Drizzile. Drizzile and its Evolution Inteleon both have the Shady Dealings ability, so a really good search engine for the Palkia side. Okay, there's the Shady Dealings activated, so once it comes into play, it can search the deck for any trainer card to add to their hand. And the one chosen is going to be another Evolution Incense, once again searching the deck for an evolved Pokémon. And the one chosen this time is going to be the Palkia V-Star, the main attacker of the deck. And is it going to be activating its ability to power itself up? Not yet. Palkia side is activating their supporter, Melanie, to get one of the discarded water energies onto Palkia. And then three cards are drawn from the top of the deck. Do they have the manual attachment? Yes, they do. The attachment from the hand comes down, so Palkia is powered up and ready to use its attack. But before they attack, another Palkia V comes down to the bench, and there's the attack declared. 
Subspace Swell hitting for 60 damage base plus 20 more for every basic Pokemon, sorry, for every benched Pokemon on both sides of the field. So that is a lot of damage, and that is going to be the first KO taken by the Palkia side. On the Regigigas side, Regieleki is going to be the active Pokemon, and it gets another Capture Energy, searching the deck for another basic Pokemon to add to the bench. The next one chosen is going to be Regirock. So now they need Regidrago on the bench in order for Regigigas to activate its ability. But first, a Choice Belt is equipped to the Regieleki, so now all of its attacks will be increased by 30 attack power. The supporter is going to be Professor's Research, discarding their hand to draw seven brand new cards and are hoping to be able to get in, uh, get the new uh, Regidrago into play. Okay, they didn't draw the Regidrago, but they do have the Quick Ball to search it out from the deck. So we will be seeing a full bench on the Regi side. There's a second Regidrago coming down, and with one of every Regi Pokemon in play, Regigigas can activate its Ancient Wisdom ability. Okay, there it is. Activated. Ancient Wisdom has the ability to get three discarded energies and attach to any one Pokemon. So the, the cards chosen are going to be an Aurora energy and a Speed energy, both counting as Lightning type energies to power Regieleki's attack Terra Spark. Terra Spark hits for 120 damage plus 30 more for the Choice Belt, and then times two as Palkia is weak to Lightning Pokemon, hitting for 300 damage, taking an easy KO on Palkia V-Star. And another thing about Terra Spark, it normally also has the ability to hit two of the opponent's benched Pokemon for 40 damage each, but like I said earlier, Manaphy does have that Water Veil ability uh, to protect the Pokemon on its bench. On Palkia's side, another Palkia V-Star comes into the active spot, and Ordinary Rod is played to get the discarded Palkia V, V-Star, and two Water Energies shuffled back into the deck. A level ball is played to once again search the deck for any Pokemon with 90 HP or less. So we're going to see a second Drizzile coming down, activating Shady Dealings once again to search the deck for any trainer card. And the next one chosen is going to be Quick Ball, discarding uh, it looks like a Water Energy from the hand to search the deck for any basic Pokemon. So we're going to be seeing another Palkia V coming down. Yeah, it's a parade of Palkia V, as like I said, Palkia V Star is the main attacker of the deck with that powerful subspace swell. The training cord is activated, getting one of the discarded water energies back into the hand, and then discarded once again to activate Radiant Greninja's ability to draw two cards. Okay, there's going to be the V-Star power activated. Star Portal, letting Palkia V-Star get three discarded water energies to attach to any Pokemon on its side of the field. So it's going to get two water energies onto itself, and it looks like the third one is going to be going onto the benched Palkia V. So very good ability to quickly accelerate energy to its side of the field. Okay, and there's the attack declared, Subspace Swell. Hitting for 260 damage and taking the second KO. So it's two prizes taken by the Palkia V-Star side. On the Regigigas side, Regidrago comes up as the active Pokemon. An Ordinary Rod is played, targeting Regieleki and Regidrago from the discard pile to shuffle back into the deck. You want to be careful on the Reggie side, not just discard too many of your Pokemon because you need one of each on the bench to activate the Reggie Gigas ability. Another capture energy is uh, attached to Reggie Drago, searching the deck for Reggie Alecki. So, with the full bench once again, Reggie Gigas will be able to use its Ancient Wisdom ability. Okay, and there it is activated to accelerate three discarded energies back into play. So, we're going to see another Aurora energy, speed energy, and a capture energy coming down onto. The Regieleki. So Regieleki is going to be able to attack if the Regidrago can get out of the active spot. Boss's orders is played to pull up the benched Palkia V into the active spot. And do they have the Scoop Up Net? Yes, they do. Scoop Up Net picks up the Regidrago, so Regieleki can come into the active spot and take a one hit KO on Palkia, as the um, basic Palkia V only has 220 HP. So. Regieleki's Terra Spark can take an easy KO, and the Regigigas side is down to just two prizes. Palkia's side is uh, still quite behind, as it can only take one prize at a time for every knockout, while the Regi side can take two prizes at a time by knocking out a V Pokemon. Okay, the Palkia side plays Ultra Ball to discard two cards from the hand to search for an Inteleon from the deck. 
and Talion has evolved. Activating its Shading Dealings ability, but unlike Drizzile, it can search out for two trainer cards instead of one. Oh, and it looks like I missed an energy attachment earlier. An energy was attached to that Inteleon. Okay, the two cards chosen are going to be Marnie and Roxanne, two supporters. So let's see which of these two cards are going to be played. Another Ultra Ball is played before the supporter comes down, discarding two more cards from the hand to once again search the deck for any Pokémon. Are we going to be seeing another Palkia? No, not yet. Another Inteleon comes down, but this is a different Inteleon with the ability Quick Shooting to hit any of the opponent's Pokémon for 20 damage. So the Quick Shooting hits the, the Reggie Drago on the Reggie side. And there's the supporter for the turn, Roxanne. So both players have to shuffle away their hands. The Palkia side draws six cards, while the Regigiga side only draws two. So it's a huge hit to the Regi side. So hopefully the Palkia side can turn things around. The Scuba Man is played, picking up the Quick Shooting Inteleon back into the hand, and the Sobble comes back down to let it start using its Shady Dealings on the following turn. There's the Attack Declare Subspace Swell, taking a KO on Regieleki, and it's three prizes taken by the Palkia side. Reggie Drago comes back into the active spot. And... Oh, it looks like the Reggie Alekia was already in hand, so comes immediately back onto the bench. The player is down to just two cards, though, but the Reggie Drago can activate Dragon's Horde to draw until the player has four cards in hand. Okay, and a Speed Energy comes down to the Reggie Alekia, drawing two more car cards from the hand. So it looks like that Roxanne from the previous turn didn't really do too much to slow them down. The Regigigas activates Ancient Wisdom once again, accelerating Speed Energy, Aurora Energy, and Capture Energy back into the Regieleki, probably. Yeah, okay, so Regieleki is once again fully powered up and ready to attack. But do they have the Scoop Up Net to pick up this Regi Drago? Okay, we're gonna see a Choice Belt coming down to the Regieleki. Oh, and the Professor's Research comes down, discarding their hand to draw seven brand new cards. So yeah, it looks like that Ro um, what's it called? Roxanne did nothing, <laughs> as they had a lot of cards to get out of that uh, that disadvantaged spot. Is that even a word? I'm not sure. Oh, but it looks like they did not have that um, scoop up. So they passed without attacking, and on the Palkia side, they played Boss's Orders to bring up the Regieleki, and it will be getting knocked out before I got a chance to attack. Ooh, that's going to be a huge loss to the Regigiga side, as they invested a lot of energy in a choice belt on, onto this Regieleki before it got a chance to do anything. A second water energy comes down into the bench in Teleon, and a training court is activated to get one of the discarded water energies back into the hand. Okay, no other cards are played, and the subspace swell is declared, taking a KO on Regieleki. So another prize taken for the Palkia side. Reggie Drago comes back up active, and Ordinary Rod is played to shuffle back in. I assume the Reggie Alecki. Yeah, two discarded Reggie Alecki are going to be shuffled back into the deck. But do they have the cards in hand to get it back onto the field? Let's take a look. They do. The Stadium Stormy Mountains comes back, comes back down. Activating Stormy Mountains to search the deck for Regieleki. So once again, Regigigas will be able to use its Ancient Wisdom ability. Okay, there's Ancient Wisdom declared. Two Speed Energy and an Aurora Energy coming down onto Regieleki. But do they have a way to get this Regidrago out of the active spot this turn? They will be needing a Scoop Up Net. And they do have it. Scoop of Net picks up the Reggie Drago, so Reggie Lackey comes back into the active spot, and it will be able to attack. Unfortunately, without the Choice Belt, it cannot take a one-hit KO on Palkia. Marnie's going to be the next supporter played, shuffling their hand, putting at the bottom of the deck to draw five brand new cards, while the Palkia side only draws four new cards. Do they have the Choice Belt? Let's take a look. Another Ordinary Rod, targeting, targeting a Reggie Drago and a Reggie Gigas in the discard pile to shuffle back into the deck. But it looks like no Choice Belt was found. I'm sure they would have played it by now. 
Is that going to be the attack? Not yet. The manual attachment comes down to the Reggie Drago and Aurora energy. And there's the attack declared Terra Spark, discarding all lightning energy from itself to hit for 240 damage. So 40 damage short of taking a one hit KO on this Palkia. So Palkia is under a lot of pressure, as it can easily be KO'd on the following turn. Okay, level ball is going to be the item played for the Palkia side, searching the deck for any Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Okay, and the one chosen is going to be Drizzile, activating Shady Dealings to search the deck for any trainer card. And they're going to be choosing Boss's Orders. So are they going to be playing this Boss's Orders? Um, not sure. Okay, but before they play anything else, looks like Palkia will be retreating, paying the two energy retreat cost, and Anteleon is going to be promoted into the active spot. So Anteleon was being powered up for this occasion. There's the attack declared Aqua Bullet, hitting Regieleki for 120 damage, enough for a KO, and the sniping damage hits uh, Reggie Drago for 20. Okay, over to the Reggie side. Reggie Drago comes up active once again. And do they have the Regieleki? Yeah, they do. You can't keep Regieleki down. It keeps coming back. <laughs> the Dragon's Horde is uh, activated once again, letting the player draw cards until they have four cards in their hand. And next is going to be the trainer Quick Ball. Discarding cards from the hand to search the deck for any basic Pokemon. What are they going to be adding? Let's take a look. Another Reggie Drago. Okay. Fitting out their deck. Do they have a boss's orders, though, to take a KO on this Palkia this turn? Okay, they're going to be searching for it with the Poke Gear. Poke Gear can search the top seven cards of their deck to add any one supporter to their hand. Did they find the boss's orders? No, they didn't. It's a Cynthia's Ambition being added to the hand. So it looks like Palkia will not be getting KO'd this turn. But if Re Reggie Drago can be powered up, it can take a KO on Inteleon at least. Okay, there's a supporter play of Cynthia's Ambition, drawing until the player has eight cards in hand. Any more energy coming down? Okay, Reggie Gigas can activate. Ancient Wisdom, targeting Aurora Energy, and Speed Energy, what else? Oh, looks like that was it, just two energy being equipped onto Reggie Drago. So it's going to be able to use his attack, Giant Fangs. Thinking about what to do next. Okay, yeah, there's the attack declared, Giant Fangs hitting Antelian for 160 damage, and now both sides are down to one prize each. Palkia V-Star comes back into the active spot. It does need two energy to take a KO on Reggie Drago. Do they have it? They need a manual attachment from the hand. There it is. And they also need a Melanie to attach a discarded energy onto the Palkia. Oh, but they don't have the Melanie. They have Boss's Orders tar targeting the opponent's Reggie Gigas to drag it into the active spot, hoping to stall for the turn as Reggie Gigas has a four energy retreat cost. A quick ball is played for the Palkia side, searching the deck for any basic Pokemon, so it looks like they're going to be thinning out their deck as much as possible to draw into the water energy on the following turn, if they don't already have it in their hand. Yeah, both players are looking desperate to take a final KO, because that's going to be no attack declared from the Palkia side. An Ultra Ball is played for the Regigiga side. Do they have the scoop up net? to pick up the Regigigas and put Regidrago back into the active spot to declare the final attack. And Ultra Ball searches out the Regirock. Looks like they're also going to be thinning out their deck. Okay, now they're, being, they're playing their Professor's Research, discarding their entire hand to draw seven brand new cards. Can they find their final scoop up net from these seven cards? Not yet, but they do activate Ancient Wisdom. Oh, okay, they have a Twin Energy in the discard pile. Twin Energy counts as a, as two energy, so it's going to be enough to pay the retreat cost. Okay, Regigigas is retreated, promoting the Regidrago, and that's going to be enough for the KO. There's the attack declared. Giant Fangs taking the final KO on Palkia V-Star to take the final prize. And there's a handshake. Regigigas is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? 
let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, and subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.